One priority for Republicans is that bill to support police officers. It's the so-called Back the Blue legislation would raise penalties for people engaged in unlawful protests and further protect officers in court. With that in mind, let's go live to reporter Travis Breeze with why Republicans say this isn't in opposition to any kind of racial adjustment movement underway. Ron, the representative managing this bill says he wants the social justice conversation to continue as long as it is through peaceful protests. A local social justice group uh, here in our area says that they think this is going to really stunt uh, the BLM movement in Iowa and hurt people of color. Far too often we see police officers not being charged. Harold Walewa was happy with the Derek Chauvin verdict last week, but feels more often than not police escape justice. We need to focus on tackling the systemic issues of policing and violence and policing. He and the advocates for social justice are very worried to see a bill that would further protect officers in Iowa courts. SF-342 would raise qualified immunity to a level higher than the state Supreme Court allowed in 2018. This piece of legislation is even worse than the federal standard. It'll set, it'll set a higher bar for plaintiffs making claims than we'll have to meet in federal court. Republicans in Des Moines say the majority of their constituents have asked them to back the blue. We can allow the courts to make this policy, which is what was happening or we as the elected officials can set the policy. In addition to immunity, the bill also raises the penalties for people in an unlawful assembly. Peaceful is great, but when it gets to the point where there's defacing of public property, uh, violence, the, this is not peaceful. That is, that's violent and that we cannot tolerate. Walewa agrees there should be no violence, but does not feel that this bill represents peace. The police and law enforcement is supposed to be there to protect and serve the um, citizens of whatever city you're in. Now, this bill has very similar language regarding qualified immunity to what the Iowa Supreme Court voted down in 2018, but Representative Klein told me he thinks it is different enough that they feel comfortable rolling with it. In Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Now, Travis, in fact, the Back the Blue legislation passed the House two weeks ago. Currently, it's in the Senate. The session is supposed to end tomorrow, but it's not going to. It's going to go longer. Now, Minority Leader in the Senate, Zach Walls, says he believes Republicans will amend it once again, and then it will be debated in the Senate in the coming days as the session continues on.